I've got a story for you. A true story. And everything in this is the gospel truth. How to murder your wife. By Elf Binney. It's a struggle even to get the housekeeping out of him. He'd keep me in rags if he could. I bet that dog of his doesn't go hungry, does it? Toasty pie. Getting under my feet all the time. One of these days it's going to trip me up and I'll break my neck. Coronation Street. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> We've come for Elizabeth. <laughs> She's gone. Where? <laughs> Canada. <laughs> She's not gone to Canada. I think he's killed her. Tracy Lee. Hello. He's got a loose woman living with him now. There's niece from Wanganui. <laughs> Unless that's what he's telling his neighbours. <laughs> Maybe she is. <laughs> Maybe Noddy's not banging big ears. I might consider it if you buy me a special coffee as well. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> He gasses things in a gas chamber. Are you going to get up there or not? What, you think he's murdered his wife? Yeah, and he's burning the evidence, yes. You aren't busy this afternoon, are you, Al? No. <laughs> Plane crash, was it? Uh, no, no, uh, car crash, I think. <laughs> Did you love her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm confused. <laughs> Do you think I killed my wife? <laughs> but I still want a lawyer. I want Mike Bungay. Murder is the worst possible crime. So if you killed her, I suggest that you tell me. Because if you did do it, even the New Zealand police will work it out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> the body is required, young Everett. Definitely dead then, is she? Provocation. Provocation. <laughs> Unintended force. Traitor! <laughs> Blind panic. Boy! I'd had enough. Bullying. Lying. Cheating me. It just came to a head. She's in Canada. <laughs> <laughs>